This is part 50 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to toggle password visibility using show hide password checkbox. Let me explain what I mean. Next to the password field, we're going to have this checkbox show password. If this checkbox is not checked, then we want the password to be masked. On the other hand, if the show password checkbox is checked, then we want the password to be in clear text and visible to the user. Let's see how to achieve this using jQuery. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I already have the HTML to produce this UI. So we have that little text password. Following that, we have an input field of type equals password. So this is going to produce this text box. And following that, we have a checkbox. And to get this checkbox, we are using another input field of type checkbox. And following that, we have this little text show password. So this HTML right here is going to produce this UI. Now, since the type of this input field is password, by default, if you type anything into this field, it's going to be masked. Now, when we check this checkbox, we want that text to be in clear text and visible to the user. Let's see how to achieve that using jQuery. So, within our ready function, let's first find this checkbox and this checkbox has got an ID CB show password so let's use the jQuery ID selector to find that checkbox and when we click on the checkbox we want to call a function now I'm going to find this password text box again this text box has got an ID txt password so we are going to use the ID selector find that password text box and then what I'm going to do is use the ATTR function and change the type attribute of this input field. Now if we change the type attribute to text then whatever you have typed into that password text box it will be in clear text and visible to the user. On the other hand if it is uh, if its type is password then it will be masked and not visible. So I'm going to change dynamically the type attribute of this input field. So we're going to change the type attribute but I'm not going to hard code that. I'm going to change the value of the type attribute depending on the checked status of this show password checkbox. So now look at this we are in the context of this um, checkbox click. So here dollar this is going to refer the checkbox and I'm going to check if it is clicked. So I'm going to use is and the selector here is going to be colon checked. So what is this expression going to do? It's going to return true or false. If it returns true then we know the checkbox is checked. If the checkbox is checked then we want the password to be in clear text. So I'm going to set the type attribute to text else I'm going to set it to password if it is not checked. So just one line of code there. So let's look at this in action. Let's save the changes. Let's reload this page and look at this. Let's type a password. So by default when the page loads the type attribute is set to password. So anything that we type into this text box that is going to be masked. Now when we click this checkbox what's going to happen? You know the type attribute will be set to text and when the type attribute is set to text what's going to happen? The text that is already present within the text box will be in clear text and visible to us. Look at this. It's visible. Now when I uncheck the type attribute will be set to password and as a result the value that we have in the text box will be masked. Look at this. So when I check it, it's in clear text and visible. Uncheck it, it's masked. Right? Now this, you know, is great. It's working. But the problem with this approach is that it's not going to work in IE8 and earlier versions. Let's let's open this in IE8 and see if this is going to work the same way. So I'm going to browse this page with Internet Explorer. Now at the moment on my machine I have IE11. So this is going to work in IE11 
without any problem. Look at this. When I check show password, I can see it. When I uncheck it, it's masked because this is running in IE 11. Now let's launch developer tools and change the mode to IE 8. Okay. Now let's go back and type a password here. And look at this. When I check this checkbox, it's not working. That's because with the IE 8 and earlier versions, once you have set the type attribute of an input field, you cannot change it later. That's the reason why it does not work in IE 8 and earlier versions. Okay. Now let's modify this code so that it's going to work in all versions, including IE 8 and earlier versions. Okay. So I'm going to delete all this code. I'm going to create a variable here. Let's call this current password field and the password field has got an ID, txt password. So let's use the jQuery ID selector and find that password field. And let's create another variable. And let's call this current password. And I'm going to retrieve the value that is present you know, within this current password field. So current password field dot value. So that should give us the value that is present in the password field text box. And then what I'm going to do is remove this, you know, password field from the DOM. Okay, so current password field dot remove. And then I'm going to check, okay, if dollar this dot is checked. So if the checkbox is checked, that is if show password checkbox is checked, then what I'm going to do is add a new field of type equals text. Okay. So I'm going to say dollar this and use the before method. So at the moment, you know, when we click the button, what is this going to do? This is going to remove the password field. And if the show password checkbox is checked, I'm going to use, you know, before function and then add a new input field to the DOM element. So I'm going to add a new input field type equals text. And let's give it an ID equals, we are going to use the same ID, txt password. And value equals. So notice that we have retrieved the value that the user has typed into the password text box into this variable. So I'm going to use this variable, current password. And to that, let's append. All right. So what is this going to do? This is going to add a new input field of type equals text to the DOM. And the value attribute is set to the password that we have retrieved, you know, from the password field that we have just removed, right? And if it is not checked, that means we don't want the password to be visible to the user. In that case, we're going to add you know, a new input field. In this case, the type of the field is going to be password. When we set the type to password, then it will not be in clear text and not visible to the user. Okay. All right. So let's save the changes. Let's go ahead and run this. Look at this now. Let's type a password. And when we click show password, Look at that, it's visible. And when I uncheck that, it's masked. Okay, so it's working in Google Chrome. Let's try the same thing in IE. So browse with Internet Explorer. And this is going to work in IE 11. So it works. Now let's change the browser mode to IE 8. And let's change, uh, let's type a password. Let's check this checkbox. Look at that. It works in IE 
data as well okay now why is it working now it's working now because we are not changing the type here we are adding a new field right so we are retrieving whatever password the user has typed into the password field and then if the show password checkbox is checked then we are adding a new input field of type equals text and for this new input field we are setting the value attribute to the password that we have retrieved from the field that was already there. On the other hand if it is not checked it's going to come to the else part in that case we are adding an input field of type equals password again the value attribute of this text box is also set the password that we have retrieved okay so this code is going to work in all browsers including IE8 and earlier versions and here is that code which we have just discussed thank you for listening and have a great day